Thank you very much. Uh, you're watching the last right stuff of the, year, of the year, and as you can see, I'm with singing sensations, the soldiers, and they are uh, Lance Corporal Ryan Idzi. Uh, we have uh, Sergeant Major Gary Chilton and Sergeant Richie Maddox. Together, they are known. Uh, as, well, in fact, they are the first British so, uh, serving troops to have hit album. If you're wondering who this is, this, this is Karen the Stalker, by the way. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> <laughs> she's holding her album, by the way. Check it out. So, how did it all come about, Richie? Well, beginning of the year, we got um, letters from um, a guy called Jeff Chegwin and Nick Patrick saying, Jeff, are you in the army? Are you still serving? Are you singing? We said, yes. Do you want to do this project? We all went, uh, yes, please. So you already knew each other, all three of you? They kept that secret who was going to be with who, but it turns out in the end, me and Gary have gone back a long way. And yes. these you know each other as well, don't they? So, <laughs> yes. and, and what's, what's your military history? What, what, where, where have you been? Oh, I joined in uh, 1988, and I've done 21 years in the Corps Army Music. I've been the Gulf War. Um, Bosnia, Iraq, come to Afghanistan, Falklands, Canada, all over the place. And you, Garrett? I joined in 1984. Um, I'm now in my 26th Ooh. year of service, so uh, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, the, on the old sweat. Uh, no, and I've, I've been, uh, like Richie, uh, first, first Gulf conflict, Bosnia, Germany, Northern yeah. Ireland. Um, uh, yeah. Really, so you, really you've been good. spared uh, the misery of Afghanistan and the Middle East. Get ready for it. <laughs> I joined six years ago <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the first Queen's Dragoon Guards, and uh, I've been to Iraq twice and Afghanistan, and we're currently based out in Padawan, Germany. So, so I mean, this this record, I mean, it's it's a fun. I mean, it's it's important, isn't it, on, on many levels? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh, it's some good music on there that everyone can relate to. I mean, it stands for, what the arm stands for, loyalty, integrity, you know, trust, courage, all that kind of stuff. And everyone can get on with it. And there's a, some of the money is going to go towards our three charities, the Amber Benevolent Fund, the Royal British Legion, and Help Heroes, see, so. Yeah, fantastic yeah and, 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 and already well. they're looking for that hundreds of thousands of, by the end of the year. People keep buying it. You should get quite a good chunk of money. To there's some great tunes on the album. It's called mm. Coming Home, by the way. There's classic covers. He Ain't Heavy is yep, in there, yep. in there. Uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Um, and uh, just uh, finally, I just wondered if you, if you had a message out there, Ryan, to, to, to the guys that are serving at the moment, or maybe even their families here uh, stuck well, at home if, without If there them. are any guys watching this, um, I know it's going to be hard for you this time of year. Um, we just want to, from everybody, and not, 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 not just us three, everybody from around the country, want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy yeah. New Year. Yeah. And for God's sake, come home safe. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. We'd like to dedicate our song this morning to all those brave men and women yeah. that are currently serving overseas. Yeah. So right. like Fantastic. And I should say to the folks at home, if you enjoy what you're going to see, and it is going to be, a, you have to wait till the end of the show, but there's a tour as well in March, is that right? Yeah, we yes. start on the 16th at Sheffield, isn't it? Yeah, um, right through then to the 16th of April. Um, we're at the Albert Hall as well, um, St David's Hall in Cardiff. Come on, boy. Uh, Bridge we need a Croydon representative in there somewhere. <laughs> oh, Karen, bless her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the soldiers, as I said, they're going to sing us out a little later. So how tall is the world's tallest Christmas tree? The answer is a whopping 49.4 metres high. The world record for the tallest living primbo tree is held by the uh, Coeur d'Alene Resort in Idaho. Their fir tree is 49.4 metres tall. That is 162 feet in old money. So uh, we've got a long way to go. Uh, it's the last bit of the last right stuff of the decade. Thank you for your company. Likewise, Sanjeev, Terry, Angelica. Uh, so then, let's put everyone out of their misery, shall we, and find out who has won our Christmas competition. Santa's sack is full to bursting. I mean, look at all the stuff we've got for you. We've got Nintendo Wii, Beatles Rock Band game, watch alarm clock, uh, wine, cuddly toy. Actually, it's a gummy bear, ain't so cuddly. It does have 12,600 calories, and there's other stuff in there too. Uh, the gift of a goat for a Wandan genocide survivor. All you had to do was guess how tall our Grow Your Own Christmas tree would be by this morning. The answer was a staggering... 41 millimetres. Ooh. Not bad for five weeks' growth. Now, people who haven't won include Sherry Murray Hill, who went for a rather optimistic 3 metres 30. <laughs> nearly 11 feet in old money. In my dream, Sherry. And Yarbu sucks to those of you, including Diane Lander and John Waggett, who reckon my seed would fail to sprout. <laughs> I was like, no jackal. Now, Sanjeev has put aside his ruler or measuring stick, as our Cornish floor manager insists on calling it. We put all the right answers into our advent box. Let's bring the advent box up. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talk about. Uh, got to pick a winner, Sanji. Yes, oh, and the winner is... and the winner is straight out of here. The winner is Graham Mackay of Linlithgow. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> now, well done, all the
the goodies are winging their way to you shortly. Uh, we're fast running out of time, so without further ado, let's turn the clock back and remind ourselves what an exceptional year it's been. <laughs> what is Dave Kyle's show? Roll it! <laughs> Hi, guys. It's, uh, it's Matthew right here on the right side. <laughs> Oh, I feel, I feel better already. Uh, <laughs> oh, my nose is lit up! <laughs> but it's terrible. Oh. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We're in recession, everybody! Yeah! We don't care! We don't care! <laughs> You finally got me into a dress. Has the panel lost any weight over the last hour and a half? Let's have a look. <laughs> no doubt about it. You can lose. <laughs> Is it wrong to tell your partner you faked it? <laughs> <laughs> I just think about Matthew and it works every time. <laughs> oh, yes! That really is the right stuff. <laughs> so, that's almost it. A huge thank you to the panel, Sandy, Angelica, Terry, have a wonderful Merry Christmas, Karen the Stalker, a Merry Christmas, ladies and gents, everybody on the panel. Come on! <laughs> All the other panellists, the star guests who've given up their time for our pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. And thank you all you guys at home, picking up the phone, sending us emails and tweets. Sometimes you make us laugh, sometimes make us think. Thank you for watching. We couldn't do it without you. Now, there to sing us out in magnificent style, we have The Soldiers. <laughs> this time of It hurts the most Daddy's not at home I wish I could be back On Christmas Eve As you go to sleep I'll be missing you Sending you my love, my letter at Christmas time. It hurts the Christmas Eve, as you go to sleep, I'll be missing you, I'll be missing you, sending you my love, my letter.
sending all my love. 